Emo. Dance. that little robot that you saw that was my godson's robot that I was babysitting his name is Emo I had a lot of fun with him um, and um, yeah I think uh, I think I get more of a kick out of that robot than he does so maybe I'll keep him <laughs> um, last time I I think I told you I mentioned I was not happy with the colors that I had picked for my Finch sweater. So uh, what I ended up doing was I bit the bullet and I scrapped that project. No, well, with that yarn. I ordered new yarn and I am so happy with the new yarn. It, it has arrived and it looks amazing. I've started it already, but the colors are more, it's not, the bar rom you uh yarn that the the pattern called for uh, so i did order from rowan but the colors are more in in uh, in line with with what the pattern had called for and i just want to show the difference of of what it looks like i have now started and i've gotten quite far well compared to where I left off with the other one and I'm really pleased with the way these colors show up on the in the pattern instead compared to these colors that I just did not feel did the trick so uh, I'm happy to continue with this um, the, I shouldn't say problem but this is my problem child um, of course the Rowan yarn is slightly thicker than what the pattern called for. Um, I think this is, I think it's supposed to be fingering weight and this is a DK weight or, but um, I thought it was worth it since I've already modified this pattern anyways, because I don't want to knit it flat. I modified it to knit and around um, and with this, thicker yarn I have to now modify further to go down in number of stitches so in order to do that I had to then figure out how many stitches are in the repeat so let me remove this here and then I wanted to line up the the larger pattern here to make sure that I had the middle one in the center um, that was a little bit tricky, but I mean, it's just a matter of figuring out the number of stitches you need in order to have five of them. And then I, I just cast on accordingly for front and back on the round. And then when I get to the length, the side seam, I'm going to stick the holes where the sleeves will go and then I'll do the neck and whatever. But, um, yeah, for me, um, it is a little bit trickier to figure this out because now I can't rely on the pattern uh, for number of stitches and things like that. But um, it's worth it because I love the way this looks so much better. Um, in the meantime, while I was waiting for this yarn, um, I told you about my little forever project. That also changed um, when I realized it was a double fabric and I was thinking it, it I can make it into a bag basically so 
I knitted up until I had a, a pillow insert and I knitted it all the way up to fit for that and then I did test my theory theory if I were to split every second stitch onto two different needles that it would open up to a bag and I was right it did it opened up to a bag and I stuck a pillow insert in there and I just closed it up and voila I made myself a little cushion instead <laughs> it was actually kind of fun it's a uh, it's a cozy little pillow that you can keep in your chair um, and the little poncho that I'm wearing uh, that was a pattern that my sister suggested and um, I knit she was interested in knitting this one she said this can't be too difficult it's just a knitted on the round it has a little bit of a lace um, bottom very thin lace bottom and then the rest is just plain garter stitch knitted um, and I said to her you'd be surprised you know just because something looks simple doesn't mean that it is and here's a perfect example this little poncho was more complicated to knit than this sweater uh, that i knitted a few years ago it's a lace uh, pattern in cotton yarn and you might think that that sweater is more complicated but it's in fact the opposite because this little stitch that you see at the bottom here, the lace border, if you will, has a repeat of 21 or 23 stitches. So it's a 20, uh, let me see, it's a 23 stitch repeat on this one. So that means that you have to memorize 23 stitches uh, in order to, uh, you know, before you repeat it again. And on the white sweater, I only had a stitch repeat of 11. So it was a lot easier to memorize uh, those stitches. So you got to think like a knitter. And the way I do it when I do these things, whether it's Fair Isle, um, it looks complicated, but I mean, if a stitch repeat is not that long, it's easier to memorize. I, as I knit it, I say it out loud. If I do, let's say, um, pearl, pearl, knit, 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 pearl, knit, knit, knit. I say it out loud and it becomes almost like a mantra. You remember, you know, and then when you have a yarn over and knit two together, I say it out loud. And then uh, when I've done my segment of 11 or 23 stitches in this case, I stop. I take a break, I check my work, I uh, give myself some more slack, and then I say my mantra again, you know, like pearl, pearl, knit, yarn over, pearl, pearl, knit, or whatever it might be. Stop, check, make sure you're all good. Answer any annoying questions that your family might have asked you while you were busy counting. Take a break, get some more slack, and start again. Pearl two together. Knit, pearl, pearl, knit, pearl, pearl, knit, pearl two together, knit, double yarn over, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Double yarn over and knit. And sometimes that in this particular case, because the the stitches were twenty three in a repeat, I kind of then split the twenty three up into like little bit mini segments within that. 23 stitch repeat so I take a break after half of them and then I do the other half so I have like two little memorized segments and then I take a break after 23 stitches and check my work um, some people like to uh, measure out with markers every 23 stitches so that if you lose count of where you are it's not that hard to 
go back to C. And then once you've done your 23 stitches, you check they're correct, then move the marker or, or have them all lined out. Um, because otherwise it is a little easy to lose track of where you are at times, especially if you're around friends and family. However, um, I think it was a fun little knit and I had some leftover rowan yarn in the kid seal case after I had finished the Ulava sweater. So um, yeah, it turned out to be a nice little, nice little poncho top shrug. Um, this one is going to be a gift for a very special lady. Um, I'm not gonna say who in case she's watching this episode, but um, yep, yeah, it's gonna be a gift. Now I'm taking it off. So other than that, um, there is not much whole lot more to report. I'm just gonna keep working away on my Finch sweater here. Um, sometimes it is uh, best to cut your losses and move on. Start from scratch and do something else. This yarn I'm gonna unravel and repurpose for something else later down the road. And that's it for today. Until next time, take care. Bye. Whoops. <gasps> okay. Got him hot. Sure to blur out Derek's feet. That's okay. Don't worry about no it. Free feet <laughs> no free feet pics. No, no. Not here. Um. <laughs> okay. Whew, hot.